So hi everyone, uh, I am Ujwal Singh and I am today here to give you a brief introduction about our newly formed Python package that is Devo Learn. So as you can see, like we have created a small GitHub page for the Devo Learn where we have different repositories for different purposes like education, theory building, contribution guidelines, which contains like how to onboard for a new user or media like c.elegance table learn is a web app for c.elegance segmentation procedure data science demo in table learn library so basically today we are going to be focused about table learn library so let's dive a little bit into it so as you can see like there's a table learn library it has a very detailed uh, readme so the, for the new contributors uh, can just come and like see things or uh, who have a little bit of experience in coding they can easily get all the things done here so these are the maintainers and contributors you can contact us anytime uh, and we are ready to help you so my my name is Ujwa Singh uh, moving on so basically this tutorial is mean for the people who are not very much familiar with computer science so I'm going to just give you a brief uh, walkthrough like how to use this library so as the lowest suggests itself it is a library which is focused to accelerate the data driven developmental biology research of computational learning models so right now this library is basically focused on uh, c dot elegance segmentation procedure so we are going to talk about it most of the time so let me just quickly open the Collab notebook. So you can use any notebook like Collab notebook is an online free tool, which is very useful sometimes. So you can use that other than that, or you can use Jupyter notebooks if you have installed it. And you can also use simple Python scripts to uh, run this. But then the project is going to be a little bit different because like uh, we are going to install library within the notebook. Then you have to install library through terminals and command line, whatever system you are using. So let's quickly name over it as intro to day one. So first thing that we need to do uh, before anything doing it is to install the package. So installing package is very much easy in this case because like it is a pip package that you can readily installed using pip install table learn so let's see oh I have this button is to run so this basically runs the block in which you have written the code so as you can see it is right now connecting once it is connected it will run this blog and search for the library or uh, table learn uh, and we have hosted it on the pypy package so it is like downloading it and like installing all the requirements that are needed so as you can see it is successfully installed once successfully installed you can like go to the next so basically our tutorial this time is going to be focused on uh, like the explorations that we are going to do with the table loan like the objective for this exercise or for this introduction is to like we try to visualize the distances between the two centroids of each cell in c dot elegant embryo during the embryogenesis process and I try to make a 3D model of C dot elegance embryo using images from like different planes of the same embryo. Let me first quickly install some libraries and dependencies that I need. So I have imported OS. I have imported matplotlib. So like these things are basically uh, depends on what kind of work you want to do with it. So we also need pandas so like I am writing this like uh, import pandas as pd and uh, matplotlib as plt so basically you can it, these are the uh, abbreviations that we give to different libraries so these are not basically required like you can give uh, pd to pa pn whatever you like or you can simply use pandas uh, but for the like instead of typing pandas again and again you can use uh, small abbreviations so let me import cv2 we don't need to give, give them a alias because it already is a very short name 
then let us import numpy package. Oh, sorry for the mismapping. So So as you can see, like most of these tools that I'm importing is basically to visualize things. Ah, so let us import these things. So you can also run like, oh, we get an error. So oh, that's a typing mistake, like these things can be avoided. Oh, I think this should work. So all the library pack and packages are pre-installed and these all things are done. After that, you just need to import like uh, we are going to deal with the Ambra segmentation. So the module or the model name in the library Devo Learn is basically named as Ambrio Segment Talk. So as you can see, it has automatically completed it and after that you can store this in the model like embryo so we have successfully saved the model in a way it is like downloading it uh, Moving on. Oh, now we need to load and extract images from like Google Drive. So like I, uh, we have saved some images on the Google Drive for the data. Uh, you can uh, take whatever like uh, you want to use, whatever new kind of image you want to use. So Oh, let me just quickly copy paste whatever thing we need and after that like you can insert your drive name here then you can like uh, import your training data that you have of the c.elegance uh, or whatever data you are using you can just import and unzip it so to unzip we have a command like uh, control unzip So if it is in a zip format, you can quickly unzip it and replace this whatever data set name with uh, the data set name that you have. So after that, like after you have successfully unzipped your data set, you can check whether a data set is working or not. Like you can uh, import your data set in a pandas. So like DF is the data frame. Basically, we are creating a data frame from pandas. So pandas, we have abbreviated as PD. So pandas.readcsv, whatever your CSV file name is, you can just replace whatever file with the CSV file name that you have. And you can e even see it like if the data set is loaded or not. So this will show you like if successfully loaded, it will show you some entries of a data set so you can know like whether the data set is loaded or not. Then like we move forward uh, to like selecting the images of the single embryo for the experimentation. So we should like try to extract the centroids of the single embryo cells using uh, undergo uh, embryogenesis process. So let me now just uh, quickly after showing you the basic setup, quickly drag the Jupyter notebook uh, that we are working with. So let me just quickly show you. Yeah. 
So basically, as you can see there, <coughs> so as you can see there, we have basically different select time for the experimentation. So like you can import your image path here and after the image path, you can replace the images. And after that, you can give the model predictions about SG and centroids. So after that we have set the centroid mode true we have to visualize the centroid which are determined by the model in devo learn so we have basically like first of all shape whatever uh image path and as if we have in the numpy array and then we have created some distance metrics as you can see you have put out your and uh, centroids here the point of centroids here and after that you can see like uh, from the plot show we can easily visualize like what are the centroids are and how they are connected. So it's basically a very basic graph in which we have connected every centroid to every centroid, but you can definitely change these uh, parameters using the uh, for and range functions for above for two for loops. You can basically change that. And then there's a basic distance matrix that you can use. Uh, to visualize your outcomes. Then, so like this is a little experiment that you can do with the Devolon. So Devolon can do a lot more. It is just to get you started and like how to install and all those things. So you can always visit like these notebooks are uh, created by like one of our team member and he has hosted these notebooks in the GitHub library. So you can definitely go there and see all those things like how they have completed these things like creating animations and also like these are the detailed things that uh, most of the people like who are very much interested can go uh, in the library and like want to know how the things work can go through for others like they can simply do all these things with uh, like by just visiting the readme.html like who are not a computer scientist but they are biologists but they want to use this thing so they can just go to the readme we have tried to uh, make as detailed readme as we can as you can see all the things are listed here like first of all segmenting a c dot in elegant embryo not a big deal i have shown you already like how to set up a devolan library on your jupyter or Colab notebook for terminal you have to do the same thing just instead of uh, exclamation mark, you have to just type this part in your terminal where you want to install it. And the rest will be taken care of by PyPy and package itself. So as you can see, like generating synthetic images, uh, you can just import the model and you can create uh, visualizations and graphs. So predict the population of cell within the C dot elegance embryo. So this is a thing you just need to follow these steps. So this is the basic uh, tutorial that we have to give to community so that they can get started. If you have any questions that you need, you can contact us, any of us maintainer, Mayo, Kujwal or Dr. Bradley. Uh, we are very happy to answer you. You can also join our Slack workspace if you want, if you want to contribute to this cause. Uh, so I think that's all from my side right now. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, thank you.